Hello everybody, Killer T here, and today we're taking a look at the Tales of Symphonia Chronicles for the PlayStation 3. I technically already did a full in-depth review of the original GameCube Classic, so if you want to see that review of the original Tales of Symphonia game, I'll put the link in the description below, or oh, depending on which video player you're watching this on, put an annotation link somewhere right here. Um, instead of it's going to be more of a first impression slash technical review of how well Namco Pen <clears throat> Bandai Namco, I mean, put it over the original Tales of Symphonia, as well as its Wii sequel, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, to the HD capable PlayStation 3. So, let's start off with the pos positives, shall we? The original Symphonia was a good looking GameCube game, and it has aged well over the past 10 years. Its HD remasters increased the fidelities of the graphics greatly. While the graphical enhancements may not be as extensive as, say, Wind Waker HD or Kingdom Hearts 1.5, there is still some good graphical improvements like, um, much more subtle cell shading, um, more vibrant colors, and added in some extra 18 anti-aliencing for less jagginess. The amazing gameplay of the original Symphonia remains unchanged in this new HD remake with tight controls, great battles, and great music. As a matter of fact, in this version you can actually switch over to the Japanese language to hear the original voice actors. News! The one thing about this game that suffered in the HD conversion is the frame rate. Instead of 60 frames like in the original Symphonia, this version only has 30 frames per second, from the towns to the dungeons, even the battles. The one thing you expect to do 60 frames per second in the Tales games has been dumbed down to 30 frames. It may seem like a minor complaint, but when everything else has been improved, it's disappointing to see the frame rate take a nosedive. As far as Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World is concerned, it couldn't hold a candle to the original Tales of Symphonia back in the day, and it still couldn't hold a candle to the original with the HD remaster. The only reason you'll really be playing this game is to see the relationship develop and blossom between Emil and Marta, the two main protagonists in this sequel. The HD conversion in Dawn of the New World isn't necessarily as big as was in The Witcher Symphonia, but the game does fit the screen a whole lot better than the original Wii version and some anti-aliasing was added in to reduce the jaggedness on the character's models and such. And while some of the motion controls from the original version doesn't translate well with the PlayStation 3 controller, the overall controls do feel nice and the gameplay is spot on from the original. I may do a full, a much more in-depth review of Dawn of New World at a later date because I do have some things to say about it, but like I said, the gameplay is still the same as the original Wii version. If there's one thing that Dawn of the New World does better in this HD remaster than the original Symphonia game, is the frame rate. Instead of being cut down to 30 frames, the entire game is played in full 60 frames per second which is actually pretty nice in my opinion. Overall, Tales of the Symphonia Chronicles is a faithful HD remaster of the original GameCube classic. Um, it costs about $40, and considering that the original GameCube copy also costs about $40 to use, you get like a prettier version with more content, as well as the ability to play the um, lesser known 
Wii sequel as well, so yeah, this is definitely worth your money. Um, I'm not sure it's really worth it if you play the original version, but if you have not, go on ahead and pick up Tell the Symphony of Chronicles. My final rating is a B. This is Keltia, signing off, hope to see you next time.